What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're diving back into more Louisiana beer. Compliments of Kevin. Thank you so much, bud. Uh, this is coming from Urban South Brewery. Have not heard of them, have not seen them before, but they're coming out of New Orleans, Louisiana. That is awesome. So can't get this in distribution. Again, this was brought up from Louisiana via car. And this is a soft and juicy IPA loaded with grapefruit all uh, for all of us caught between best intentions and bad behavior, 6.3% ABV. Uh, this is the Holy Roller Grapefruit Hazy Juicy IPA. So uh, yeah, I would never have gotten this without Kevin. So again, shout out to him. And this was canned on 6-14-23. Today is the 5th of July. So super duper fresh. I mean, it doesn't get much better coming from all the way down south, guys. Uh, so let's dive in, see what this one's about. Let's see what some New Orleans beer is about. So again, never heard of these guys. Not sure how long they've been around. Every time I've gotten Louisiana beer. It's been like Parish. It's been Gnarly Barley. Um, maybe one other. I've not seen anything else, but I uh, don't know how big this reach or distribution or in general how large this brewery is. No idea. Um, but grapefruit? Hmm. I haven't had a grapefruit IPA since like Stone Sculpin IPA, like one of those. Um, my dad would hate me right now because he absolutely hates grapefruit in his beer. So, Tone, this one's not for you, unfortunately. Uh, this is one you will definitely want to skip, but you can watch the review if you want. Shout out to my dad. Uh, so, Holy Roller, grapefruit IPA. It's hazy, it's juicy, it's got carbonation streaming to the top. It looks pretty good. It's not the most dense beer I've ever seen in the New England ca uh, category, but it is indeed hazy as it states. Um, nice pillowy head sitting on top, dissipating uh, pretty slightly and slowly, um, but sliding down the glass very nice. It looks like a um, New England style, guys. I don't need to go into detail about color or shades. Geez, we've seen a lot of New England styles in our lives. So I guess this is just considered hazy, not even a, a New England. It's a hazy. Uh, so, aroma. Yeah, okay, grapefruit for days. Grapefruit for days, uh, slightly honey malt bill to it. A um, little bit of citrus other than grapefruit, but grapefruit obviously sticking out immensely. Oh, it's like Sunny D with grapefruit, like the Simply Grapefruit, um, just erupting, kind of juicy, kind of uh, dry, try, uh, trying to be like some of that um, skin of the fruit rather than just the, the um, juicy quality of the, of the flesh. Um, smells great, smells really good, but you have to like grapefruit. So tell them, same for you, man, same for you. Let's dive in. It's a grapefruit bomb. It smells like a sculpin. It's, it's, it smells like stone beer. I, I don't know, will it be the same? Let's dive in, cheers. Yo, yeah. It is an absolute grapefruit bomb. Uh, pink, ruby, red grapefruit. Uh, juicy, it's got slight skin acidity to it. It's got some pithiness, but it's, it's candied, it's juicy. It's super flavorful, it's not artificial. Um, but the grapefruit's abundant. It's, it's bursting, it's strong. It's, it's the most notable thing. If I was doing this blindly, if anybody was doing this blindly, they'd say, I'm sinking my teeth into a fresh grapefruit. I mean, the flavor is intense. But it's good. It's not too syrupy. This coming in at 6.3% rather than like seven or 8% uh, leaves this beer very refreshing. Um, it, it could have been um, a little bit more sweet. It could have been uh, just too thick. It, it could the body could have taken over and, and dominated the palate. Um, but this being 6.3 percent, the the grapefruit is just dialed in correctly. It's just it's an absolute eruption of grapefruit in your mouth. Um, it's hard to even identify other things. I mean, there's like. A small like lemony factor to this, uh, that lemon lime kind of zesty quality. But I don't know if that's just the skin of the grapefruit that I'm getting, uh, that pithy quality th that is kind of coupled in with the juiciness. Um, but again, that back end, it, it finishes dry with just a solid touch of bitterness, uh, and really you get a little bit of that sourness and a little bit of that tartness. Um, touching with that bitterness. And so is it even the bitterness at the end of the day? I don't even know. I mean, it's tough to say. 
the, the grapefruit is just the number one thing that you're getting front to back on this beer. It's very good. I mean, slight malty middle, a little bit of that candied pininess, um, but the the grapefruit just dominates it. It just it's it's a it's a grapefruit beer, uh, in in that's what they're giving you guys. That's that's what's on the label, and it's it's genuine to what the label says. Uh, it's it's good though. Like I like grapefruit. I, I like this, but I have to be in a mood for it again. I don't really drink too many grapefruit IPAs these days. I had one from like Perrin in Michigan. I've had, you know, Stone, but other than that, not too many grapefruit bombs do I sink my teeth into anymore. So um, I like this one. I, I think it's got nice uh, citrus notes. It's got a little bit of this this juicy quality. It's got a little bit of this uh, soft back end. It's not too bitter. Um, it's not too sweet. It's just a, a really refreshing uh, summer beer. It's coming in at 6.3. So uh, rating. Have to like grapefruit. It's tasty, man. And it's not that artificial like pine saw or, or chemical taste. It, it's just it's grapefruit um, in the most natural way possible with being liquid form so it, it's good it, it, i wish there was more complexity maybe i would take a dash more bitterness maybe i'd take some more well-rounded qualities from this beer um, but if you like grapefruit you like it uh, for me i'm just gonna put this at a three nine out of five that's where i sit today it's louisiana beer it's new orleans beer uh the holy runner guys grapefruit edition thanks for being here i'm dan again kevin you the man over and out cheers